Curtis, first game of the season. I think it's been 183 days since your last competitive match. You must be raring to go. Yeah, definitely. You know, delighted to finally get here and do it for real. Uh, be a tough game, really tough game. But yeah, we can't wait. You know, it's just a blessing that we're out here. So yeah, looking forward to it. And it's, has it felt a really long pre-season? <laughs> yeah, I'm just speaking to the hide manager there. It just seems like it's gone on forever. You know, and. I think you can play too many pre-season games. I don't think we've done that. I think we've we've got it about right. You know, the lads feel felt tired but not exhausted. Um, so yeah, we've gauged it right. With a lot of training sessions, um, it's been really hard work and really overloaded the body. So I feel we're ready. Spoke last week about that. Have are the team rested up ready for today? You said they needed that rest time. Yeah, Tuesday we did very little walk through set pieces and shape, and again Thursday very little forty-five minute session. So they've had a week. Not rest, but just maintaining really, like I said, just letting them levels drop back down so they should be bursting to, to, to go at it today. What are the main positives you've taken from the long pre-season? We, we've, had, we've had longer to implement what we want to do, you know, our style of play. Um, again, sometimes you can, you can do too much and we've been really wary of not doing too much. But yeah, we've just had longer to prepare, but it's been so difficult because we've had, you know, some players in the squad that have not been part of the match day squad. So... It's been tough. I'll be honest, there's not been many pluses of having a, uh, an extended pre-season. But yeah, the, the ones I can think of is you get a bit longer to work with the lads. And since we spoke last Saturday, three new signings. Uh, AJ Reeve, Grieve, sorry, what will he bring to the team? Energy, you know, he's a tackler. He's got great energy, box to box. I know Doncaster got high hopes of him. And he's been training with the first team now for about a year. Um, and he looked really sharp in training on Thursday. So he'll bring that bit of bite and a bit of extra energy that that, um, that I wanted in the middle of the park. And yeah, he goes straight to the starting 11. He's only had one session with us. Um, but yeah, I expect him to, to have a really good month with us. Uh, and Jake's got a bit more experience for the team. Yeah, exactly. Again, and brings that energy and, and that little nastiness that maybe we, we, we haven't had in the middle of the park. So yeah, I'm delighted. He's, he's, uh, he's away on holiday at the minute. He gets back on Thursday, so he's not available today um so yeah again we brought two players in that give us that little extra edge because you know we in midfield and all around the team we've got undoubted technical ability but football games are not always won and lost on who's technically the best so it was important that we brought in that that other side and, and then two boys will bring that um, with it being the beginning of the season, do you do you set yourself a target? Is it a points target, position target? What, what are your aims this season? No, like I said, our aim is to be competitive in every game. Um, you know, and I, and I know if we can, like I said, we've got a squad of 15 today, and that'll, that'll be us. Um, it won't go any higher than that. Hopefully it won't go any lower either. So we're looking for a squad of 15, and it'll be a case of if we can keep that squad of 15 out most weeks, I expect us every game to, to be competitive. Where that all... Let's finish at the end of the season. We'll, we'll, who knows? But yeah, I, expect, I don't expect anyone to roll us over. Um, I expect us to give everyone a game. Uh, we've been at home again. The fans, because they're allowed at the moment, yeah. play a big part. Yeah, massive. And it's great for them to see us back. And I think, like I said, towards the end of last season, which seems so long ago, you know, yeah. we, we, we had been on an unbelievable run. Like I said, we were privately, when we were having our discussions in here, you know, we put ourselves together a points total to get into the playoffs. So that's how good a run we were on. Now we've lost that momentum, we've got to start all over again. So hopefully after today, I want the fans to go home and think, oh yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Because I think everyone's panicking a little bit. You know, we've, we've not had great pre-season results. We've, we've lost all of our players from last season. Everyone knows financially where, where, where we're at. But today we're putting out a very good side. You know, like I said, we've got a lot of players that nobody's ever heard of. But let's see if we're still having these conversations in December. Uh, and finally, for you, how, how do you feel going into a season? Do you get excited? Are you a bit nervous? Is it a mix? How, how are you feeling? All of them. Yeah, all yeah. of them. I woke up this morning, all them things, nervous, excited. It feels like the morning when you wake up and you've got a big fight, you know, you think, oh, great, here we go, showtime. And, that, and that's how I feel. It's, uh, it's ready to get going again. And, and that's what we live and die for these moments. You know, when you're not managing, when you're out of a job or when you stop playing football or stop competing, you miss that um, nervousness of waking up. So, yeah, it was great to feel a little bit, ooh, Seven o'clock this morning, I was up. I had a two cup of coffees and breakfast by quarter past seven. So, yeah, I can't wait to get going. Good luck today. Cheers.